Good day, all you Mellop watchers. How are you going? We'll just take a second here to look back on the highlights of episode one. What's wrong? Dad's still thinking of selling the nursery. Oh, is that all? Why? Because of Dump. What's the problem? Mum wouldn't care if we sold it. Yes, she would. Mellop. I need that land. Please, Mum. If you're up there, we need help. Well, as you can see, this is basically a quiet little program where real kids of today have to find an ordinary solution to their everyday problems. That's it! That's what Mum sent us to be off dump. A magic apron? Sometimes there are some things that can't be explained. Time doesn't stand still and there's nothing that stays just the way. Changing round here believe how much there is. Yeah, I know. Bet they've opened their presents already. Oh, come on, mate. Uh, Jossie won't let that happen. Come on, won't take us long. Come and see this. What? Sam's apron, it's... Come on. I know it's not the most exciting way to spend Christmas. But still, if you look on the... Bright side. This will blow your mind. I'm not washing up, Jason. It's your turn. You even said... You don't have to wash up. Just talk to Ajax. What? They've found out that you can talk to me if you wear that apron. Now, while I've got your attention, Michael, I'd just like to say, will you stop saying I'm warped? You've heard him, haven't you? Well. Because I am not warped. I'm a perfectly normal human being. Mum sent us to help us get dump. Well, how's it going to help us get dump? What do you mean, how? Yeah? We can read his mind. We'll know his next move. The only mind I can read is Ajax's. Well, that's because I'm wearing this stupid collar. Everything was normal till I had to wear this. He's got a point. Maybe it's not the apron after all. It is the apron. Well, then how come... Hey, what are you doing? It's the collar. The collar? Oh, that's what he reckons. Let's try it and see. Put it on. What? Put it on. It must be like a two-way radio. It's got to be a receiver and a transmitter. Michael calling Jason. Can you read me over? Loud and clear. Yeah. What's happened? It works. It's the collar and the apron. I wonder how it works. It's got to be a silicon chip or something. Give me a go. Hang on. <laughs> Who cares how it works? The main thing is we can get dumped. <laughs> and one of us wears the apron. And then maybe we get dumped to wear the collar. Where is everybody? Or vice versa, maybe. Come on, and Slackers. There's a rubbish mountain to shift out there. Dad, it's Christmas Day. It'll only take an hour or so. You won't get to open your presents while it's still there. We want to practice that telepathy, don't we? Yeah. Practice it later. You know how I was saying yesterday that it wouldn't worry me too much if Dad sold the nursery? Yeah. Well, this guy... Oh, yuck. Doesn't deserve it. Dump dies? Dump definitely dies. Oh, yuck. Look at this stuff. You can talk, you know. This isn't a sponsored science. <laughs> If it's not a rude question, why are you wearing a dog collar? I told you, Dad, it's telepathy. If I wear this and Mike wears that apron, we can hear each other thinking. Right. Just imagine what we can do with this thing. First up, we get dumb. No, no, no. I find out if a man of blank really likes me. Dumb. Yeah, I know. He's here, dummy. What? Very messy. Well, Bill, have you thought anything more about my offer? I have, actually. And? Um, 
I still need more time. Bill. Mate. Time is the one thing I don't have. I'll let you know. All right. So the question is, how do we do it? I mean, we can't just walk up to him and say, Excuse me, Mr. Dump, would you mind wearing this apron for a couple of days? No. Of course not. We've got to be subtle. You smell. Why can't you go and have a shower or something? Because I'm busy thinking. I can't think and be clean at the same time. Hey, I know. You know that old hat Dump wears? We put the dog collar around that, under the ribbon bit. And then when he puts it on... How are you going to get the dog collar on his hat? Oh, good point. Jason! Oh, all right, all right. Well, come on, let's think. How are we going to get the dog collar around Dump's hat? I don't know. Sneak into his office? Yeah, and what if he sees us? We wait till he's gone. Yeah, and then he'll take his hat with him, won't he? That better? No. Sam. Well, I guess it's impossible. Unless we knock him out and read his mind while he's unconscious. <sighs> Next time you see a magic star, can you ask it to give us something a bit more useful? There must be something we can do, Jason. Oh, I give up. <gasps> what are you guys looking at? It's a clean shirt. Oh, oh Sam's right, Jace. You stink. Why don't you change into something clean? What? What, what are you this doing? This is the next best thing. Next one, come on. What? There, it wasn't that bad, was it? Mike? You've disappeared. What? It's true. We can't see you. Well, I can see me. Take your shirt off. What are you guys going on about? Okay, does this make you happy? It must have been the star again. Some of it must have hit your T-shirt. <laughs> What's this? Don't put that on. It's clean, Jason. I told you. See? You don't know where I am, right? We can still smell you. Okay, so I stink. But it solves one problem. It does. Not even half of it would do. Just enough for a little eating hole. That's what I want. And that's what I'm gonna get. <laughs> He hasn't put his hat on yet. Maybe he doesn't think. Plan B, plan B. Oh, it's the truth, that's it. I gotta think. 
when should I activate my ingenious plan B? I've got him! What? Merry Christmas, Aunt Jossie. This is from all of us. What's he say? As we live at Mellops. Oh, I'll get him this time. Sometime after dinner. Now, I'll go and eat first. In fact, I could do with a bit of food right this sandwich. Oh, no. He's all over the place. What? Just get to the point. Point? What point? Why'd I say that? He's on to me. What do I do? Uh, clear your mind. I think of clouds. Clouds? Oh, no, that can't be right. Clouds can't talk. It must have been angels? I've lost him. What did you find out? A Scrabble set. Well, thank you. I've been wanting a new one. Watch it, Bernie. Concentrate. Plan B. Hang on. He's back. Who is? Oh, it's so hot, but I've got to keep at it. If I can time it right, I'll have a new 18th sandwich. <laughs> what a nutcase. Oh, look. It's got a stand and everything. Would I think better on a full stomach, though? Or should I keep working to eat or work? A cheese and pickles or plan B? What'll it be? Plan B? Yes. Come on. Plan B. Plan B. Me. Yes, I know. And I'll do it while all those foul-smelling bellops are tucked up in bed. Oh, oh, I'm a bit on the nose myself. I'll sneak down to the nursery at about dawn. Oh, let's see when it'd be safe. Yeah, well, I'll probably aim to get there at about half past. Anyone for a game? Uh, what? Tell me when. Tell me when. Well, I was thinking now. Shh, Michael. Sorry. Look, what is going on? Let the whole with powder holly, la 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 He's singing. Oh, what? Christmas carols. He was just about to tell me the time, too. Must have taken his hat off. You want to know what time it is? No, no, I was just... Forget it. Where were we? We've finished. Oh. Right. Good. Good. Camp out. Yeah, only at the nursery. We'd be developing our initiative and living off our own resources. I didn't know you were into that sort of thing. It's a kind of recent development. Uh, you don't even make your own bed. Don't worry, I'll teach him. I don't know why you want to go to the nursery. Well, it'll be an adventure. The nursery? You work there two afternoons a week as it is. See, but we just wanted somewhere to sleep out, and... Nah, no, all right. If you want the truth, I was reading Dump's brain with the apron, and I think he's going to try and do something to it. Jason! Mind like a tin of worms. No, really, Dad, Look, I... Jason, you are not staying out overnight without adult supervision. End of story. What about you, Aunt Joss? Me? I work there every day, darling. You'd never get me there just to camp out. The place is full of insects. We can play Scrabble. That's a thought. Don't forget the insects, Joss. No. No, I'd better not. I'm going to have to pass. So Your go then. Actually, why don't you two play? Michael and I might take a look around. What for? For Dump. He might be out there. Oh, nonsense. No, really. No, you can't just go wandering around. It's too dark and too dangerous. Come on, Sam. It's your turn. I'm going to pass. Z-Y-X. Are you sure you can't think of something? Q-W. I can see one. Oh, that's it. Don't tell me any more. I like a challenge. <laughs> What's the point of sawing the fence down? Search me. Guess he just wants to make life difficult for us. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh
Oh, he's moving it back. He's taking a length of fence at a time and he's moving it back. He's trying to take Dad's land without him knowing it. I'll take his land without him knowing it. <laughs> We've got to stop him. Where's the T-shirt? I thought you had it. Me? Your T-shirt? Who wore it last? Oh, nice one, Jace. It's not my fault. Shh. Do. We can tell him to get lost, I suppose. Oh, great. What if he thumps us? Oh. How about an ice cream bucket? Yeah, yeah, they'll do. Oh, I'll get that, and you get some rubber tubing and a pop lid, okay? Okay. sent me back. He said you should take a break. Oh, how nice. Thank you. I'm going to have to give in. Um, Aunt Josie, you know last night... Well... Uh, By the way, did you see those bits of fence lying all over the place? Yeah. Some bunch of hooligans, I suppose. Yeah. Getting anything? I wonder if Mum did send it. What? Oh. <laughs> oh. You still smell, you know. Why don't you go and have a shower? Uh, Dad, you go. Then I will. I promise. Underway and my head's going like a hammer already. Must have been the knock I took off the fence. I probably ought to give me scone a bit of air instead of cramming this thing down on top of. Ah! Oh. Oh, come on! Plan C! Just tell me, Plan C! Oh! Oh, that's better. That's much, much better. <coughs> oh, 
Hello? Hi. Do, do you sell, um, flowers? Uh, flowers, yeah. Yes, we do. What sort? What have you got? You like roses? Those? They'll do. Uh, do you want them wrapped? Sure. You work here? Yeah, all the time, every day. If you want to find me, I'm here. Oh, during the holidays, at least. What's your name? Michael. Michael Mellop. Yours? Harmony. Harmony what? Yes. Sorry? Harmony what? That's my name. All oh, right. Put this on and get over there. Dub's got another plan and he says it's already underway. You've got to get over there and check it out. Oh, you go. Me? I've got to keep listening to him. I'm serving a customer. Harmony, this is my brother, Jason. Hi. Serve her later. Put it on and get over there. What's so special about it? Look, come back here and I'll show you. Mike, putting it on, okay? What? How? Don't ask how it works. My sister reckons it got hit by a star. But I think it's got to be something electronic. It's not all we've got either. Just get over there, will you, Mike? See this apron? Michael! You can read people's minds with it. As long as they're wearing a special dog collar. And at the moment, we've got that collar around this other guy's hat. Just quit talking and get over there, Mike. We're going to find out what he's up to. OK, all right. See you, Harmony. Come back later and I'll give you a go if you like. All you've got to do is be nice to them. <laughs> nice? What about the nursery? Forget about it. Forget about it? Look, Dad, you can't force them to sell up. Because if you did, they might go interstate or something. Who cares? No! Please, Dad, you've got to be friends with them. They've got stuff, amazing stuff. And if you can get it off them, it'll make you a millionaire.